everyone. This one's called uh, Life Begins at 30. Woo! 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 Uh, <laughs> at sunrise, the sound of a key opening the front door has me awoken. And the eyes of little Alan jar wide open. My heartbeat, blood pressure and cortisol all elevate. My mother had been awake all night, lying in wait. What would follow next would break my little heart too many times to count. And I would cry myself back to sleep, oftentimes wetting the bed. This accumulation of toxic stress, I'm sure it changed something in my body and in my head. I was extremely quiet and anxious as a child. My skin started scaling, which I'd incessantly pick and scratch. My hair started falling out and I had a bald patch. And I was so skinny, relatives would joke, asking my mother if she fed me so I wouldn't take off my coat. My own father couldn't stand the sight of me, saying spiteful things and blaming my mother in disgust. They cared more about what people thought than they did for us. A strong slap round the face from a grown man for misbehaving has me spinning, ears ringing, a childhood of fear. Maybe if I hide myself in this cupboard I could disappear. Take me away, anywhere but here. I took my anger out on my siblings. I was a terrible older brother and a relentless bully. Still to this day I feel guilty, I hope you can all forgive me. Taller and skinnier as a teen, vision now blurry and with acne. I used to wear my father's clothes and dress down days and with no male role model to guide me, I taught myself how to shave. I covered up my bad teeth by keeping my lips shut and social media just arrived, now I'm mental health fucked. Knock knock, the threat of bailiff is taking our stuff. Maybe if I studied hard enough I could get us out of this rut. At uni I felt responsible for leaving my younger sister to deal with the mess, so I became hooked on drugs in an attempt to forget. I failed my first year and desperate to save my degree. I spent my final year sleeping in the library. I ended up with a tutu and left a wreck. I've come a long way since then. Note to self, don't have children if you can't emotionally support them. With a megaphone. Note to self, don't have children if you can't emotionally support them. Growing up didn't need to be this painful. I don't blame my parents entirely. They were a product of their culture. Perhaps they hadn't worked through their traumas and their parents didn't show love to them either. For these reasons I can forgive, but I won't forget. I have been running from past versions of me, ruthlessly cutting ties with anyone who evokes the memory of who I once was, shedding people as I shed my skin. If I'd stopped to look behind for a second, I'd see there was no one left. Mm. I'd lost myself in a vortex of self-hatred and jealousy, and I've become this ghost trapped in purgatory, neither alive, neither dead. When will I realise my past selves are all part of me? Stop running. They are all part of this journey. So hold that broken boy and tell him I love you. Hold that troubled teen and tell him he's beautiful. And hold that young man and tell him there is nothing he can't do. I'm putting the past behind me. Life begins at 30. Yes. Yes.